Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Matt Bogosian here, your favorite realtor slash, I don't know, we'll have to figure that out. But I'm gonna take you guys on a tour today. We're gonna go through Spring Hill, where I am right now. I'm at the end of Beechcroft Road, and I'm gonna take you up a couple back roads all the way through Thompson Station into Franklin. It's about a 13 mile ride. These are some cool roads. I actually haven't been on them in a while. It is Sugar Ridge Road. We've got Evergreen Road, Sedbury and West Harpeth. So before we start, I don't think I've ever showed you guys my bike. This is a 2019 DRZ 400. It's what is known as a dual sport bike. So you can ride it in the dirt, on the road, over the ocean, through the skies. No, I'm just kidding. You guys get my point though. It's pretty cool. You can ride it in a lot of places, but I've really kind of enjoyed doing these little tours and and kind of, I guess you'd call them just fun weekend rides. So let's hop on here and let's get going. All right, here we go. Fire the old DRZ up check my blinkers we are good to go so like I said I'm starting right on the end of Beechcroft Road and we're gonna take a right here in a second this is kind of like the downtown Spring Hill area that I just kind of going through this is on the west side okay so this right here is depot street turn right on depot i think you guys are going to enjoy this sugar ridge road and 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 all these back roads i'm hitting today that's a cute little house got the just very simple, nice, clean yard. West View. I'm gonna end this video today and take you guys through a quick tour of a very small neighborhood in Franklin at the end of the ride. and. I don't know a ton about the neighborhood. I just know they're on one acre lots and they look really nice. And I thought it would be cool since I want to check it out. I would show you guys. That's one thing about these rides that I love. When you're a real estate agent, you really need to know all the areas. Like Carnation Place, I didn't know that was there. You, you see what I'm saying? So this gets me out and learning the area better. Well, that house looks nice. And I don't think a lot of agents do that. A lot of agents are just, you know, sitting around waiting for the phone to, to ring. I mean, I get it. But sometimes you just got to get out and drive around. It kind of helps you discover some things. I can't tell you how many times I discovered a new neighborhood or a home for sale that I thought a client might really love or a new area where I could tell people you got to check this out look at that view got the silo these roads look it's like gravel right across the road you got to be so careful on a bike All right, so we're gonna go about 2.7 miles and then we'll turn right. You know, one thing I've been thinking about a lot is like the definition of a forever home and you know, if people consider getting a forever home or if they just like give up on that dream. I guess, I guess the reason I bring that up is I don't feel like a lot of people, when I'm showing them homes, like, talk about their houses like that. It's more like, what's it worth? I'm only going to live here a couple years. Wow, that must be some house up there. Look at this. That's 
beautiful. And it, I, I think the reason I'm like starting to think about this is Beth and I recently built this house on some land and I can like truly say it's my forever home. So I start thinking about like the psychology of it all. Like I don't, I feel so content now. I don't feel like, okay, I need to worry about the value because I'm gonna sell it in a couple of years or will it go up in value? Like it doesn't really matter to me. I know it will because I'm gonna be there a long time. And it's such a different feeling than when you're just hopping from home to home every three to five years and and chasing whatever you know needs you have at that immediate time so I don't know if you're out there thinking about buying a home I know people are like well you need money though to, to get your forever home I mean yes but it depends on what your forever home definition is. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be a huge house. You can compromise on some things. This is such a beautiful ride, by the way, guys. If you haven't been on Sugar Ridge Road, you need to check it out. So I know, I'm just kind of rambling on. I'm not like making any definitive statement about what you should do. I just, I think I'm having these feelings and these thoughts because we just got what we would pretty much consider our forever home and it's such a good feeling to be done with it. I'm done. I'm not chasing houses anymore or, or chasing the next best thing it's like I'm content one thing too I know like it, I felt like with this move we jumped m maybe skipped three steps or two steps or something like that like you know how when you're buying homes you kind of slowly move up and you say, okay, we've had a third child, a fourth child, we need a bigger house. Okay, we've moved jobs. There's little like life stages and you just keep changing houses to kind of fit those needs. We kind of just decided, all right. Oh, wow. What in the world is that? That is a beautiful house. Oh, I need to pay attention. Like, we skipped a couple steps, and I guess, like, we get to thinking, okay, we know eventually we're going to want property. We know we want a house where our kids can grow up and have plenty of space, and they can come back with their kids when they get older, and it'll be a fun place for relatives to visit and comfortable for everybody and that's kind of what led us to our decision so and, and I feel like what's funny is even though it was expensive and at the time I have to tell you it didn't feel it felt scary when we bought that house I wasn't like oh I got this this is no problem I was like scared to death just like all of you guys right you look at the payment, you think of the money you need for a down payment. Oh my gosh, like, I remember there was a couple nights I literally did not sleep. I did not sleep. I was so worried. Here's the funny thing, and I, I, I like, want you guys, I, this is very hard for me to describe. I said, F it. We're doing it. I said, screw it. And you know what? Like, everything fell into place right after. Like, the payment is no problem. I'm fine with it. The uh, building of the house and the down payment, 
We like everything fell into place for us. We figured out a way. When we bought that land, I'm telling you, we owned the land and I was not sure how to get the loan or how to get the money to build on it. All right, let me just see here. Where are we? I go right, guys. All right, let's go right. I don't want to bore you guys to death. But anyway, so it, it was kind of amazing how it, it all fell into place and like my fears are quickly uh, dissipated and everything worked out. So I, I think that's kind of like the thing, guys, like for those of you like that are ready to step up to your dream home, holy cow, look at this on the right, guys. Oh, there's Evergreen. I need to turn here. I hate to do that, but we're good. We're good. Wow. This is Evergreen Road, so we're now in Thompson Station. Take that farm. Woo-wee. This is a great road. I love this road. It's been a while since I've been on it, but you know. You know, I don't think I was supposed to turn right here. It looks like I'm off track, but that's okay. So, so, all right, going back to what I was just talking about. I'm gonna take you guys in here. I don't know what neighborhood this is. Oh, it's Case Springs. I don't know if this is a neighborhood or what. This is beautiful back here though. Oh, there's a dog up there. Dog will probably jump at me and make me fall off my bike. So this is called Case Springs, guys. I, I really don't know much about this neighborhood. I don't think much comes up for sale. No, it just kind of Oh wow, there is a nice looking house back there. That's probably like Billy Ray Cyrus's house. I love the American flag. That's a beautiful little house right there. Such a nice lot. Wow. I guess, I guess, like, what I want to say is, because I see all these people, like, mulling over making a decision to buy a house. Oh, the interest rates aren't right. The payment's too much. I, I don't know, it feels like a stretch. We're gonna use all our savings. Guys, I gotta tell you, I don't think the time will ever feel right when you go to buy what you would call your forever home. It's never gonna feel comfortable. It's, it's, it always feels too expensive. It just does, but, but from my experience, Right after all the fear, there's Case Springs Road. I really should turn there, but I'm just gonna go this way right now. In my experience, that all goes away really quickly. You will figure out a way to pay for it. You'll figure out a way to make it work. And I mean, 
You guys are all smart. I know you will. And you know, I think my fear for a lot of you is you're waiting for that perfect moment, whatever that is. I don't know, what does that mean? Like that you're gonna have half a million dollars in the bank and interest rates are gonna be 2% and the, the payment's gonna match what your current house payment is. I mean, guys, it's basically like those, that situation is probably never gonna happen. I, I'm not saying don't be smart about your finances and what you do. But if you want your forever home, you're going to have to take a leap of faith and go for it. I'm just saying. I'll tell you what, that Case Springs looks good. Maybe I'll sell my house and move there. No, I'm just kidding. I'm filming this on Memorial Day, so that's why you see all these flags. And it's just such a beautiful morning, I thought I need to get out and go for a ride. Look at how bumpy this road is. This is like an off-road adventure ride. Oh, I love these roads with the trees, canopy above. So neat. It's it's crazy when you explore some of these back roads, there's all these like houses you'll go, oh my gosh, how beautiful. That could that's what I would be dreaming of. Bumblebee Lane. Oh, this is a great ride, guys. Evergreen Church. There you go. There's one for you. Oh, yeah. I mean, there are some people that have homes that have probably lived out here for years that just, I mean, I'm sure they know how good they've got it made, but it's funny, they, they've got what everybody wants. What is that, like an old school? Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. Birds are flying. Sorry, I'm not. I'm just trying to get you guys that shot. I don't normally turn my head while riding like this. Okay, so this is Thompson Station Road West. The real question now is I want to go right. Sedbury Road. That's what I originally planned on doing. Get out of the way, bird. Okay, so this is Sedbury Road. I just turned off of Thompson Station Road West. Look at all this farmland. Oh, it kind of makes me sad. It's like I wonder if there someone will discover it and try to build a neighborhood. It really depends on if the current owners ever sell. Oh my gosh, it stinks like cow manure though. Ugh. Put my 
my forever home on that. And that's something as I'm driving when I'm uh, uh, riding here. Let me know in the comments below what your idea of your forever home is. I mean, sometimes I think we might have a forever home for each stage in our lives. And I say that because, like, a lot of people will say, hey, I want to be on land like that, and I want to have a beautiful home and all this land, but... Then if you have kids, sometimes being in the subdivision is nice because they're around friends. And that's important to you. So there's, there's different stages in our lives where a home might be considered your forever home for that stage, if that makes sense. So is the forever home really even a thing? I don't know. I do feel like we sacrificed a little bit to get what we consider our forever home. And what I mean by that is, like, we enjoyed subdivision life. I enjoyed all the people. I enjoyed going to the pool. My kids having friends close by. I mean, all that was pretty neat to me. And we don't have that now. We have different things to make up for that. This should be Highway 840 right now that I'm crossing over, yep. There are so many roads to explore, I wanna take you guys on. So yeah, I mean, I'm trying to figure out this forever home thing. I'm just, it's like, I'm intrigued by it. Like, I think what led to this, I've got all, all these people that I help look for homes. Oh, that's beautiful. And that's beautiful. Sedbury Lane. Hey, mama. Like, that I help buy these homes, and it's like, you know, what's it worth? That's not worth that now. What's it going to appraise for? And everyone's like, so concerned about the value right now. And I, I'm not naive. I get that you don't want to like overpay, but then I started thinking, I, I felt like I was overpaying when I bought my land and got my house. But then, over this last year and a half period, I certainly don't feel like that anymore. And I know things might not go up in value that fast for a while, but... You know... If you buy a home that you would consider a forever home and you're going to be there a while, really today's value, eh, I don't know, if you love it so much and you know it's your forever home, you don't really care. And that's another thing. I know because I've lived it. The, the, what, what the value of a home is in other people's eyes really doesn't matter when you find a home that you love and that you're going to stay in for a long time. You don't care what the appraiser thinks. You don't care what Zillow thinks. You don't care about any of that. Okay, we are on West Harpeth Road now, and I believe we've crossed into Franklin right about now. I know this neighborhood I'm about to show you guys is in Franklin, so... Like I said, I've gone by this neighborhood 
so many times, but I've never been in it. Oh, wow. Ooh, I saw some stakes way out on the field out there. Some kind of survey going down. Somebody's going to be building. So, right here on the right... Dead end. Oh yeah, I know that. This is called the Indian Meadows. So these, this, this is a Franklin neighborhood, very South Franklin, and these are all located on one acre. I thought it'd just be cool to show you guys. Their, their houses aren't obviously. You can tell they're not like new and super trendy or anything like that but these are the kind of lots that I envision that a lot of people really love there's mature trees it's level I'll have to look to see how many houses are in this neighborhood there's more than I thought oh that looks like a cool little spot I'll take you guys there wow beautiful yard oh he's got a little garage back there I feel like that a neighborhood like this would fit into a lot of people's vision of a forever home I looked a couple of these up they're like four bedrooms three and a half bathrooms you know I don't know 2600 to 3500 square feet One acre lots. I mean, minutes from 840 and downtown Franklin. I like this little section. I had saw this on the maps and I was like, I need to check this out. Oh, I love that they've got a two car garage and then a two car garage that's separate. They've got a separate garage. That is so cool. They've got one. Look at that. These people know. Oh, man. Mm, I don't know what I'm feeling that one. This is a neat little road, though. And it's got this nice green space in the middle. I'm telling you, this place is pretty sweet, guys. Indian Meadows. Look, I got no problem with an above ground pool when it's got like that deck around it. I think that looks sweet. And I bet they could care less what people think. If you have an in-ground pool or whatever, it doesn't matter. So going back to what I was talking about at the beginning of this video, this is, to me, working. This is research to, this is such a cool spot with these trees like that, wow. These people have it made. This is like doing research. This is good for me to see this neighborhood and just know it's here because I've got all these clients that are just like out there waiting to buy a home and I also have all these email alerts set up and I see coming soon listings and I look through them for Williamson County and you know now if a home comes through and I look and it says Indian Meadows I'm gonna kind of perk up and be like okay this is a great neighborhood somebody's that I've got on my list has got to be interested in this. I'm back on West Harpeth. There's another neighborhood, South Point. I've never been in South Point. I'm going to have to check it out. Horses. Alright, 
I'm going to take you guys to the end of West Harpeth here. Laurel Hill. Never been in it. There's another one to the left. Neighborhoods everywhere. All right, I am up to 31 or Columbia Highway, so I'm going to get off, guys. And I'm going to leave you with this beautiful vision of that house right there across the street. Look at the yard, all the zigzags and all that. I mean, and it looks beautiful, right? Is that your idea of a forever home? I don't know. Thank you. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.